right, man. So let me get this straight, man. We all been clamoring and wanting for Terrence Crawford to get back in the ring. We been we been wanting for Bud to take on Boots, Charlo, whoever it is. But we just want to see our boy back in the ring. So we was under the impression that Terrence Crawford was supposed to be fighting Tim Zoo, man. But then here comes no other than Keith One Time Thurman. You've got to be fucking kidding me, bro. How did he get to skip over everybody to get to a damn title shot, bro? At a whole other weight class, he did nothing in welterweight in how many fucking years, dude? Man, you know what this is, dude? Yeah, this is nothing more than Al Heyman and the PBC trying to slight Terrence Crawford, bro. Bro, what? Keith Thurman. All right, okay. I'm trying to make sense of this thing because I'm like, what has he done? What has Thurman done, bro? Everybody been putting in work at the division. Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Tim's, uh, not Tim Zoo. Uh, shit, even Boots been doing more than Keith Thurman. So why Boots didn't get a, get a chance there? You know, if anybody that don't have a belt or, or Boots got a belt, he got an IBF belt. Bud just became undisputed at 147. Why he don't get a shot at Tim Zoo? How the fuck did he, did Keith Thurman get a shot at the belt? But you know something? I don't think Keith Thurman gonna win that fight unless he out. He hasn't been, he hasn't fought in over two years, bro. Tim Zoo has been much more active. This is a dangerous fight for Keith Thurman. My thing is this. If somehow, just somehow, by the grace of the good boxing gods, right, that Keith Thurman somehow beats Tim Zoo, which would probably be uh, by decision or something, now he's a champ. Now you can't duck Terrence Crawford no more. Now he, now he would be able to duck Crawford or Woody. You know, belts don't stop people from ducking. You know, he'd be a champ, and now Bug could go after the. Uh, That'll be a probably an uh, easier fight for Bud, in my opinion, because he has not been active at all. So this should be an easy fight for Tim Zhu and for Terrence Crawford if they were to ever fight. This is ridiculous, man. This, is, this boxing shit is just pure theatrics, bro, at this point. You let this dude skip ahead of all these other dudes who have been putting in all this work at the division for how many years? This dude they want to fight nobody. He be running his mouth about fighting Boots. Never fought Boots. Running his mouth about fighting Crawford. Never fought Crawford. He ain't even fight Stanley Yotis. But he get to fight Tim Zoo? Bruh. Make it make sense? I I, I don't know, bro. I, I'm trying to figure out who's, you know, I'm thinking, like I said, they, they, they slighting Terrence Crawford. That's the only thing I can come up with. I don't think this is Tim Zoo ducking Bud or nothing like that. I think it's more, more of an Al Heyman PBC thing, cause they already, like I said, Bud already got stripped of one of his belts. Um, they, did Bud let go all the rest of the belts at both the way, or was he still a champion? I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't kept up with that. Uh, but still, this this right here is at 154. 154 is about to be the it division, bro. It's about, it's, it's getting packed up. It's getting stacked. Dude is leaving. Bud is going up there. Errol Spence supposed to be up there soon. Charlo. So 154 is looking like it's gonna be it's gonna be what's up. But my thing is, Keith Thurman don't deserve to jump right into no goddamn Tim Zoo fight, bro. I want to see my man Bud become four times, bro. I want to see him become four divisional champ, even if he don't be undisputed. Which they ruined that too for Bud on purpose. I think they ruined the chances for Bud to become undisputed. They threw Canelo in the mix and it fucked everything up. And that shit was on purpose, dude. That shit was done on purpose. Cause I'm like, why wouldn't you let Jamel Charlo, why wouldn't y'all try to line that up with Crawford first and then let him go fight Canelo? It's not like uh, Jamel Charlo's belt was up for grabs with Canelo. So why you ain't giving Bud his chance to become, you know, he give him his shot at the belts and then if he lose, so what? The belts wasn't up for grabs anyway with Canelo at 168. Then let 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 Charlo go up there and get his big bag with Canelo, get beat up, and then retire or whatever. Man, this shit is crazy, bro.
So yeah, I I, I don't know, bro. Yeah, bro, can y'all can y'all please drop comments and try to help me make sense of this because I, this 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 is really upsetting news because I was ready to see Bud and Tim Zoo get it rocking. But you know what? If that's the case now, I say to Bud, all right. If they want to play those games. Go up now, pull, 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 uh, Jamal, uh, Gerard Ennis up to 154 and fight him up there. Do that. Or say, fuck it. Go back down to welterweight and oblige and, and fight Boots down there and potentially derail him. Since, since these dudes want to play these games with, with Bud, I said, let the games begin. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about Keith Thurman versus Tim Zoo coming in March. Wow, this is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later.